What's going on? Thanks for checking in. Today I have the three best squat variations that you should be doing if you're a ball player. Make sure you stay tuned. Check this one out. All right, hey, let's dive into it. Got my guy Danny Bananas, Dan Obers with the Savannah Bananas. He's gonna demonstrate these three squat variations for you today. Okay, so coming in at number one may seem like a surprise to you, but it's the front squat. All right, this is how we're gonna set this thing up. A lot of guys don't have the mobility to perform it like an Olympic lifter, Olympic style lifter, where the fingers come up, the elbows are high. Danny Bananas doesn't have that mobility because he's shredded, right? So how we're gonna do it is we're gonna go arms crossed. So he's gonna lay that bar close to his neck above his collarbone on the delts here. He's gonna fold his arms over, keeping them nice and high to maintain that posture, right? So let's go down into the hole. It's gonna go down. If you look into the hole of the squat, the front squat is very good for building mobility, specifically in catchers, right? You can see the ankles here dorsiflexed, pop back up out of it. So throughout this entire front squat, there's a lot of components that baseball players need, right? He needs to maintain that posture first, most important. He needs to bring those lats back, engage the lower back control the entire trunk or else he's gonna fold with that bar and the weight's gonna go forward. The posture has to stay the same throughout the entire exercise, which is great for overall core stability. So that's why it is so important for baseball players. Coming in at number two may seem like a curveball, but it's the pin squat. Why? Because it trains joint angle specificity. Okay, there's a bunch of research on squatting depth, which is best for athletes. And in order to get the adaptation and power and strength that you're looking for, you have to train the joint at a very specific angle. If you think about, you know, when you produce a lot of power, think about a vertical jump for standpoint, okay? You go down into a vertical jump position, you're not going ass to grass. That's because that high joint angle, it's a lot easier to produce power out of. So with the pin squat, that is what we're emulating. So a good way to set this thing up is we're gonna have these safety rails that the bar is resting on, okay? These safety rails have to be, you know, where your joint angle can produce the most force. So a simple way to do that, right, is I can say, hey, Dansby, go like you're gonna do a vertical jump and stop in the hole, right? So this barbell is actually a little low for where he's able to produce power. But for video purposes, right, we're gonna roll with it. So put the bar on a pin at a joint angle where you can produce power and you're gonna dive under the bar and explode up from this position. Good, now you can reset. Good. Good. Nice, you can rest. Not only can you do regular bilateral pin squats, you know, with these safety rails, you can also go unilateral and do split squats out of this position as well. And we all know how important that single leg strength is. So go ahead and hit a split squat out of it. Good. And this is an exercise that we can safely load very, very heavy. You may be asking yourself, hey, why didn't you go with a box squat? You're still getting that higher joint angle and those higher force outputs. The reason why I would choose a pin squat over a box squat every day is because in a box squat, I've seen it once, I've seen it a million times, guy, go, guy or girl goes back, um, tucks their pelvis up under, and it can cause a back flare up, all right? Because it's harder to keep that true tension throughout a box squat than it would be in something like a pin squat. You're not pinching your lumbar in between a box and the weight itself. The weight is resting on the pins. All right, coming in at number three is in my opinion, the most important squat variation for baseball and softball players. And that is the Bulgarian split squat, AKA that rear foot elevated split squat. The sport in my opinion is a single leg sport. Okay, each leg acts a different way. You have your gas leg, you have your brake leg. So this acts as a lie detector for that. A lot of guys can squat a lot of weight bilaterally. Not many can transfer that over to unilateral strength because your left leg may be stronger than your right, your right leg may be stronger than your left. 
etc. This is a lie detector and makes sure everything's acting as one. So go ahead and hit it. We can go front loaded or we can go back axial loaded on this exercise. If you don't have one of these pads, you can very easily use a bench, right? And you're gonna have to stabilize the weight as you go down. I've never seen another strength exercise transfer to the baseball field like this. We make sure we hit some sort of variation of this single leg squat once a week throughout an entire program. I do triphasic training here, right? So that means we do eccentrics, we do isometrics, we do concentric training, and then at the end we do our velocity-based training. Every week we're doing some sort of single leg, a Bulgarian, a split squat, a reverse lunge, etc. That's how high of a standard that I hold this strength exercise. And that's one of the reasons we've had so much success bridging what we do in the weight room out to the diamond. Hey, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and add those three squat variations into your training if you're a baseball and softball player. And you're going to see that bridge to sport, what you're doing in a weight room over to the diamond. Also, if you want access to some of the same training methodologies that I utilize in-house, I have a number of programs available for you on my website, summersmethod.com. I'll link those in the description below. You can also get a week free trial for my baseball speed and power program, perfect off-season program that you should be doing this fall and winter. You can get that in the description below too. And always remember that I pump out two of these videos per week. So do me a favor and subscribe. I appreciate you. We'll catch you next week. Game rewards are grinded. It knows how much you've invested.